Hello and welcome to AEA's art channel. Today I'm not going to talk about this painting yet. This will be up in a couple of weeks I think. The, uh, I only did a few layers of this uh, new portrait but uh, like I said it will be up in a, a few weeks. Today I like to talk about the last painting I did and I don't know if you know but I mentioned it in uh, the Bison tutorial I did uh, uh, before this painting and um, I mentioned that I would do something very different and it was uh, uh, I was painting on uh, actual animal skin because I painted a, uh, a drum and my husband made this drum and he uh, asked me if I would uh, like to uh, paint a, a frog on it and a uh, uh, shelf and um, so I did that of course and um, uh, it was very different because I uh, obviously never painted on animal skin and before I really want to uh, explain that this uh, animal skin is um, coming from an animals who already were passed away so they didn't uh, be have been uh, treated well and not uh, inappropriate and all that kind of stuff so I like to mention that because uh, otherwise I wouldn't paint it at all of course because I'm a, a very big um, animal lover but uh, yeah so like I said I did paint on animal skin and to be honest it was very different than painting on a um, canvas I also did paint on wood. Uh, if you uh, look up some tutorials on this uh, this channel of mine, I have some tutorials on uh, where I paint on wood, but very different. And I will explain uh, all about it in this tutorial. So here it is. And the first main big difference than I uh, normally uh, experienced was uh, the drying time. Because as you may know, the acrylic paint uh, has the tendency to dry very, very quickly but uh, in comparison for, uh, with oils for uh, for example but on this skin it was um, yeah i was really surprised how how quickly it dried because i basically just touched the paint i let that paint touch the skin and this drum and uh, it was dry basically already dry so so very quickly uh, was the drying time so therefore i had to keep that in mind and uh, especially on laying in details because I didn't have uh, basically any time to change it. Normally when a paint is a little bit wet you can change a little bit on your details. But uh, this, uh, for this project it was uh, basically impossible. So therefore I just uh, kept um, trying to paint in a, a, a lot of layers. And it may seem a bit uh, strange because of the drying time. But I used more a little bit more water than usual. So I had a bit more time to... Uh, make the glazes uh, quite smoothly and that would work quite well because the skin had some time to uh, absorb the water and therefore I, uh, it gave me some time to, uh, yeah, to uh, change the layers as I liked so therefore I uh, used more water than, than I uh, normally do and maybe for this project it would be uh, very handy to use a glazing medium but I didn't uh, had no idea how this uh, painting or how this paint and these layers would um, behave on skin so therefore uh, on uh, I drum on uh, yes yeah, skin uh, animal skin so therefore I just uh, stick uh, with the uh, projects I normally use I have uh, stick with that because I uh, just try to uh, think about what this um, paint has to uh, go through <laughs> because uh, as you can imagine if you use the drum the, this drum uh, it um, will um, have some movement because you uh, the paint has to take that movement when you use the drum and also the furnace so therefore I uh, use the gambling furnace which I normally use of most of the times on my oil paints but uh, you can use it uh, on oil paint when it's dry to the touch even though it has to dry a little bit further but that furnace can take it because it, it can have that movement and um, I don't know how uh, to explain it uh, otherwise so I call it movement but uh, so therefore I used it also for this project so um, if he is gonna use the drum I think the furnace can take that so therefore I, uh, I used the gambling furnace and like I normally do I really really watch my uh, lights and my darks and I what I found was that the uh, uh, purple the dark purple would uh, work uh, very very nicely on the shadow parts so I used a bit of blue and also quite a lot of purple in my glazes I found the contrast with the green yellow and the purple uh, very very nice and that made it look uh, very uh, 
yeah very realistic and also that uh, watery uh, feel which i'm uh, making on his um, paws would uh, help me quite a lot with those color uh, uh, choices of color if you ask me and also the uh, transparent mixing white i used quite a lot and also i used the same uh, range of uh, purple on the shelf because I liked it uh, very well in this painting and I thought it would be nice to uh, use that color again. And I'm just trying to uh, copy the details as I see in my reference photo. And I'm not copying exactly all the details but this uh, was the close. So this is the uh, photo you saw in the beginning of the original work. And I'm really happy how this came out, even though I had some difficulties uh, to apply the paint on this subject. But I think I, uh, it worked uh, eventually. Uh, and uh, like I said in the intro, it's nice to just try new things out. And um, because I have painted quite a lot, I know I uh, really um, yeah, knew which details I uh, had to lay in quite quickly and how to do that but because I have a kind of yeah quite a lot of practice so therefore it's nice to uh, do some new uh, projects because you can learn uh, even more I think so therefore uh, yeah I stimulate my uh, myself and other ones to uh, try different things So yeah, that was uh, something very, very different than I uh, do usual. And to be honest, I like to, I prefer to paint on canvases, uh, on the cotton canvas or linen canvas. But once in a while, I like to paint on wood. And now I have the first time I painted on actual uh, animal skin. And yeah, like I said, it was very different. But uh, I like to try new things. I think that you learn a lot when you do uh, something different. Not always uh, stick to the usual or to the things you are used to because you are feeling uh, safe to use that uh, medium or the products. Just try something out and you may notice uh, some very interesting uh, things you can use also in your regular paintings or drawings. So therefore I would uh, really uh, suggest uh, just try uh, new things out. and. Um, yeah, that was uh, kind of fun, and this uh, drum he uh, really likes it, so he uh, is going to use it very often, and uh, therefore it's uh, it's very special, of course. So, um, and also I would like to thank you uh, to thank all the new subscribers and of course the old subscribers. I do no, I don't have a lot, but I'm really really happy, and maybe in the future I will uh, get more subscribers. But yeah, like I always say, I uh, like it. Uh, I see it as a compliment, so thank you for that, and um, for the new. Uh, subscribers in the future please be welcome at my channel i try to make as uh, much tutorial as i can but i'm uh, not a full-time artist so sometimes it uh, takes me a bit longer than than uh, yeah normally to uh, post something but i uh, really like it so therefore uh, thank you and uh, for now uh, once again thank you for watching this tutorial if you uh, like it i have uh, quite some uh, uh, other tutorials on on my channel so uh, please check them out and if you have any questions or suggestions you may leave them in the comment section below and i will come to them as soon as possible so for now thank you for watching and i hope to see you at one of my next tutorials bye bye